Daily Good News, Volume 1, Number 87, The Kind of Prayer That Brings Victory. Some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from the sea. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. 2 Chronicles 20, 2 and 3. The king and the people took the wise course of gathering together to ask help of the Lord. The prayer of Jehoshaphat was a prayer of faith and contained within himself the beginning of victory. Are you not God in heaven and you do not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in your hand is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you? Second Chronicles 20 verse 6. The one who can begin his prayer in the hour of need with such a recognition of God's power has victory already on his side. Ask help of the Lord. Then Jehoshaphat concluded, We have no power against this great multitude that has come against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes upon you the God of the universe, verse 12. Since the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the earth to show himself strong in behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him, chapter 16, verse 9, it becomes those in need to trust him alone. Now, what was the result of trusting in God alone? The prophet of the Lord came and said to him, Do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. And Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe his prophets, and you will prosper. He appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness, as they went out before the army. Chapter 20, verse 15, 20, and 21. Surely this was a strange way to go out to battle. But what was the result? Few armies have been rewarded by such a signal victory. When they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. The Lord had made them rejoice, over their enemies, verses 22 and 27.